Good morning, I'm Air Commodore Terry Van Haren. You're in the Middle East and on Operation Okra. Today we describe to you the maintenance and support cycle that we run for the Australian Super Hornets here behind me. The maintenance cycle starts once the aircraft returns from typically an eight or a nine hour mission. The pilots, once they park the aeroplane, they'll go and sign the aircraft off. They'll log the number of hours they've flown, the landings, the operational events such as air refuelling and whether they fired the gun. They'll also then log any of the maintenance codes that the aircraft reports to the pilot for any of the systems that uh, need some rectification. The next part of the cycle is the afterflights. He'll send out aircraft and avionics technicians to do a complete inspection of the aircraft. Once the aircraft has been inspected, they'll start replenishing the aircraft, firstly with the fuel, but also the engine oil, hydraulic oil, and any other uh, replenishment the aircraft needs for its uh, upcoming flight. Now, whilst all this maintenance action is occurring on the aircraft, the armament teams are busy at work getting the weapons ready for the next flight. And in fact, they may even start this well before the aircraft return from the previous sorties. Now, the loading process takes some time in itself. At this time, the aircraft is completely under the control of the, uh, of the armament team. They'll load each individual weapon onto the pylons, and once all weapons are on board the aircraft, they'll then do further checks to make sure the aircraft can talk to these smart weapons on the F-18. Now, many hours before the next mission is uh, programmed for flying, the aircraft light support team will get to work getting ready air crew's equipment, their helmets, their combat survival vests, their G-suits and all the other equipment they take on their operational missions. They'll make sure all this equipment is clean, that it's serviceable and it's going to function correctly. And while the aircraft life support fitters uh, complete their sign-offs of the, uh, that equipment, the aircraft technicians will come back out to the aircraft and now get it ready for flight. They'll do their final inspections and now the desk sergeant will have the aircraft ready for uh, the aircrew who are then typically completing their final preparations, signing for the aircraft before they walk out for their next flight. Okay, that completes an explanation of the maintenance and support cycle for the Australian Super Hornet. For Rotation 11, well, the men and women from uh, Number 1 Squadron, Royal Australian Air Force, RAF Base Amberley, this has been another very important tour. Since May, they've flown over 1,500 hours. They've enabled their aircrew to drop over 300 precision-guided weapons and fire 350 rounds of 20 millimetre. But more importantly, our maintenance support crews work tirelessly every day to ensure we have aircraft ready on time to enable our aircrew to provide vital support to coalition and partnered forces in the order to degrade and defeat Daesh in Iraq and Syria.